Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve the 2x2 cube using the Ortega method. The Ortega method consists of three steps. The first step is solving the first side. The second step is OLL or Orient Last Layer. And the third and final step is PBL. which stands for permute both layers. Okay, now let's get started. Um, so the first step is uh, solving the first side. So you, you need to solve uh, one side on the 2x2 two two cube. It can be any side you want. I think it would be the best if you were color neutral on the 2x2 two two because um, it's really not that hard. So for example, for 3x3, three three, uh, most of you probably always uh, solve your first side on white. Uh, but for 2x2, two two, it's very easy to be color neutral. So I would recommend you to be color neutral. Um, I think the blue side would be the easiest in this case. The this step is pretty intuitive, so um, there's not really any algorithms for it. Um, bas basically, if you know how to solve a three by three, you should know how to how to do uh, this first step. Uh, but I will uh, show you some cases uh, just so it can be a little easier for you if you don't know those cases yet. So, for example, if you have this case, you probably already know how to solve this. So it will, go, it will go like u r u prime r prime. In this case, you probably already know how to solve that case. Um, so u prime l prime u l. But if you happen to be holding your cube like this, um, you don't have to rotate the cube and then do uh, the algorithm I just showed you. There is a shorter solution. You can just do this. So r u r prime. And there is also a version of that algorithm for the, for the first case I showed you. So if you have this case, but you happen to be holding your cube like this, you don't have to rotate the cube. You can just do L U prime, um, I mean L prime U prime L. So L prime U prime L, okay. And um, I think there is also one more case I need to show you. Um, so, for example, if you have this, uh, it's on the the blue sticker is on the top side. It goes like this. So u r two u prime r two. It's pretty much intuitive. I showed you a few cases, and I hope that will help you. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So the second step is OLL. Uh, which stands for uh, orienting the last layer. So in this step, you must orient uh, all the corners and the top layer. So you're orienting this these four corners. So for example, in this case, we have two corners oriented and two corners are unoriented. And um, well, there so there are seven cases uh, in OLL and uh, for each one there is a simple algorithm. So here we solve the blue side. So we need to look at the position of the of the green of the green stickers. But um, if if it's kind of hard for you to see this, um, I will I will solve I will solve the 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 black side so that you can so that you can look at the yellow stickers. So you must know what uh, what colors are opposite and you probably know that already. So whichever side you solve, uh, the corners that need to be oriented, um, you know, the opposite color uh, has to be facing up and all that. I mean, you know, uh, but you're probably used to uh, having yellow stickers while solving while solving OLL. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I will uh, I will show it to you like this. Uh, so there are two cases where there are no corners oriented. There are two cases where there is one corner oriented, and there are three cases where there are two corners oriented. Um, okay, so. 
let's start with this case. Uh, so in this case, you have um, uh, two yellow stickers here and then two uh, yellow stickers facing opposite sides right here. Uh, so you solve it like this. You don't solve it like you would solve it on a 3x3. Three three. Uh, there is a simpler algorithm. So it goes like this. F R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime F prime. So basically it's F two times sexy move F prime. If you if you happen to be holding the cube like this, so not like this, but like this, so that this is on the on the right side, you don't have to rotate the cube, you can just do a similar algorithm. F U R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime F prime. Alright, now in the second case, we have um, two yellow stickers here and two yellow stickers here. So they're they are both facing um, opposite sides. And in this case, you hold the cube like this so that any of those sides are in front of you. So you can hold it like this or like this. Um, and the algorithm is very simple. So you just do this. R2, U2, R prime, U2, R2. It's quite a fast algorithm. Uh, you can also do R2, U2, R, U2, R2. I prefer the the R prime one because um, I think it's it's faster. But you pick uh, whichever one you want, whatever suits you better. Now I'll show you the cases where there is one corner oriented. Okay, so those two cases are the soon and the anti soon. Uh, so you probably already know these algorithms. Okay, so here's the first case. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's the soon. Uh, so you, we have one uh, corner oriented here and the other ones like this. Uh, so this is the soon and then you do this algorithm. R U R prime U R U two R prime. Okay, and then we have the anti soon. Uh, so we have one corner oriented here and the other corners like this. Um, so basically, the only difference is that in the soon they were they were all uh, here on the right, uh, but in this case they are on the left. Uh, so in this case you you don't hold it like this but like this um, and then you do this algorithm r u2 r prime u prime r u prime r prime okay now we have the cases with two oriented corners um so in this case we have two oriented corners here and we have the headlights here um so uh, you hold it like this so that the headlights are on the left and you do F R U R prime U prime F prime so basically it's F sexy move F prime um, and uh, there is also one more algorithm uh, for this case uh, if you happen to be holding the cube like this you don't have to rotate it you can just do this algorithm you don't have to rotate the cube so F U R U prime R prime F prime and yeah that's it okay so these next two cases are actually parts of the Y perm so if you know the Y perm you will know these algorithms um, uh, so this in this case we have two diagonal uh, oriented corners and uh, yeah it looks like this so you need to hold it so that you have a yellow sticker in the front face in the top left so not like this or any other way so you hold it like this and then you do this algorithm F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime and that's it that's actually uh, the first part of the Y perm and now the second algorithm and this is the other case um, so uh, this this algorithm is the second part of the Y perm. So in this case, we have um, two uh, oriented corners that are next to each other, and these are facing opposite sides. Um, okay, so you hold it 
like this and then you do this algorithm r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime okay so those are all the seven oll cases and now we will continue with the third step pbl okay so in the third step we have five cases the first case is where you already have one layer solved and the other layer has two corners switched which are next to each other so like this um, so you can recognize it very easily so this layer is solved and here you have a, a two by one block um, the layers may not always be aligned so they can they can be like this or like this uh, so you can solve the case first and then align the layers or um, you can align the layers first which is what I like to do and then uh, solve the case so it goes like this r u2 r prime u prime r u2 l prime u r prime u l you may also have this case so here we have um, one layer solved and in the and in the second layer uh, we have two corners uh, swapped diagonally um, so again the layers may not always be aligned so if they're like this then you can recognize this case uh, by seeing that there is no two by one block here so if there's no two by one block in a layer that means that the corners are uh, swapped diagonally if there is a two by one block then there th then you have uh, two corners uh, swapped like that um, so uh, he, uh, so you need to hold it so that um, one of those uh, salt corners is here on here on the left so you can either hold it like this or like this in the in the top left of the front face so the algorithm for this is the y perm so that's how you switch these two corners so it goes like this um, so uh, f r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime okay so in the third case uh, we have two two by one blocks so in each layer we have a two by one block so here we have uh, one and here we have one uh, which means that in each layer there are two swapped corners that are next to each other so here these two corners are switched and in this layer these two corners are switched um, so uh, they may not always be aligned uh, so uh, sometimes you will have to uh, align those and um, sometimes they won't be the same color so these two by one blocks uh, don't have to be this doesn't have to be the same color this can be sometimes this can be blue and this can be red for example they can be two different colors but uh, f the first thing you need to do is align uh, those two by one blocks those two two by one blocks um, so that they are on the same face and then you rotate the cube so that they are on the back face and then you do this algorithm r2 u f2 u2 r2 u r2 then we have the fourth case which is the easiest of them all uh, so here you will notice that there are no two by one blocks uh, on the cube. Uh, well, actually you have two by one blocks here if the layers are aligned. Sometimes they won't be aligned, sometimes they will be. Uh, they, it can be like this or like, th uh, or, or like this or like this. Uh, so that, uh, so in this case you will either notice that you have four two by one blocks or if the layers are not aligned there are no two by one blocks anywhere on the cube so in this case um, we have diagonally swapped corners 
uh, in every layer. Uh, so here you can just hold the cube wh whichever way you want. Just make sure that this this is on the top face and this is on the bottom face, and then you just do R2 F2 R2. So it's a it's a really short and simple algorithm. Okay, so the fifth and the last case. Um, so here we have uh, two corners that are swapped that are next to each other and two diagonally swapped corners. So two of them are swapped diagonally and in the other layer um, the, uh, they are swapped so that, uh, so that they are next to each other. Um, and when you have this case you will have one two by one block uh, and you need to hold it in the front face and then you do this algorithm. R U prime R F2 R prime U R prime. Now sometimes you might find the 2 by 1 block in the bottom layer and in this case you can just um, rotate the cube and uh, do the normal algorithm again or uh, you can do this algorithm so uh, you can save yourself some time uh, because uh, you don't have to rotate the cube. So when it's in the bottom layer, hold it so that it's in the front face and then do this algorithm. L D prime L F2 L prime D L prime. Basically you're doing the same algorithm but you're just holding the cube differently. And that would be it guys. Thanks for watching.